Today we are gonna learn about distance transform. Uh, this is an overloaded function and this is the first one. I wanna talk about this at the end. First of all, uh, let's see what this function does. Calculate the distance to the closest zero pixel for each pixel of the source image is saying. And uh, let's talk about this one first of all. Uh, we talk about the closest uh, distance to the zeros. Uh, for that, you need a binary image is taking as an input. This binary image should be should include zeros and ones only, and it will calculate in the pixel. Uh, pixel wise uh, the distance uh, the coordinate distance to the zero values in the image and destination image is an output image with the calculated distances and type of distance this is the distant types and here there are a couple of distant types but these uh, these are and this user is not used in the distance transform functions these are for in the other functions used and we will talk about them when we come through that functions. Okay, this tree is taking as an input distance types. And size of the distance transform mask. Uh, these are also actually there are three type. This is uh, introducing the kernels, uh, five to five, three to three, and mask precise. At the beginning, it's better to use mask precise for beginning and what else in here also distant type uh, which type of output you request uh, this is not really matters both of them is okay because you are you will get the similar results always if just the in the bigger images bigger resolution images maybe you need the 32 float type of image because your distances will be higher so as a result your values will be higher also okay what I also recommend is that uh, OpenCV taking distance transform mostly in this article which is Bosch for written in the 1986 but still OpenCV taking this article results as a as a calculation steps and here is that article also you can reach you can read and you can see the more you can understand more if you want to yeah okay what else here we are gonna do let's go on the code side as I did always let's start with a simple example let's create an input image input mask and this mask uh, this masks include at all once and size is 5 to 5 and type is also 8 bit binary image should be of course and this is our input image let's show this image first of all okay input name window already why i'm doing that input and we already show and after that let's change the middle elements of this input because at all is one now we need to change one of the pixel to zero to see the change and let's change it the middle element is 2 to 2 and is equal to 0 okay after this maybe we need to see input oh what else now we need to this uh, create a destination map and after that let's call the distance transform take the input give the output and this is the other one uh, the two second one we are interested first of all distance type is as I said let's give distant uh, there are three types of so distance C which is the uh, Cartesian C and L1 and L2 let's start with C then mask size let's put this mask precise start 3 and 5 is also ok but for beginning precise is more ok and what else type is we not deal with the bigger image so maybe just this one enough unsigned 8 bit ok uh, then show result seeing results is not uh, logical 
because we will deal with the floated numbers again we let's see for just to show uh, output and destination and wait okay but to see the results more clearly we need to see out console and destination okay this is will be work I think this will be work hmm. now what you see let's see the output first of all and this is the okay these are uh, as you can see this is the input and add all is one just we change this one zero and this is the result of this map what this actually doing first of all uh, taking this zero for example this is how many distance between these two pixels is one right then making this one one then this is also one 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 uh, this is uh, you can see the diagonals is not include for example this distance it taking to equal to this distance this is cause of the type we are giving we will talk about it also this is equal to this one one you can see here but one more step you're going this part the around rectangle at all is two and here also two as you can see clearly any zero pixel is detecting then according to that zero pixel calculating to the distance these are in the pixel levels and writing to the destination met is the result which how much uh, how many pixel far away to the zero and writing to do that pixel in here you are not getting a clear result because this is because of the type open cv math types what if this is cause of the distance c but if you give different types this is l1 i said to you there are three type uh, in here this one this one and this one we talk with this one this is uh in this is cons this does this does not consider diagonals it's just taking one as like the other around let's talk about this one for for now this is input and you see that uh, uh, the diagonals changing accordingly for example this is one diagonals included two because uh, because of the uh, is rounding actually and after rounding normalization is taking two here is the output more clearly we can see this is zero this pixel is far away one that's why in here one and this pixel is far away diagonally one uh, one square root two, two and here is rounding to two four like that is continue like that okay what about l2 this is uh, more complicated and takes long time comparing the other about speed uh, first of all is taking this one and all of the values around calculated by on float types it, there are no normalization there are no rounding and it's calculating accordingly this is called as euclidean distance transformation also uh, this is also different type as i said this takes long time but more accurate uh, comparing to the others so as i let's summarize again this takes one and does not consider diagonals this takes this take oh uh, these two is normalized the values they're they are not giving the results as flood type no precise and this only gives us the precise values also consider the diagonals the simple Euclidean distance is called and these two difference also this consider diagonals this does not as i said for more good explanation please check this article very well if you want to go on deeply okay this one like that let's see the results in a real image let me maybe okay this is my real image and let's put it directly as input this is image and this is my image let's see the result 
oh okay this is cause of that sorry no need to write to console anymore and yeah maybe this is will be work Yo, ah before that it does not work because the image uh, uh, is not uh, bind is not a binary image we need to convert it to binary first of all how to do that before we learned about threshold function is taking image and it's giving image again for destination threshold let's say maybe 100 or 200 let's say and max value uh, this should be 1 this should be 200 also 255 will be considered also max value let's say 200 and type is trash binary let's say for the people who want to learn about threshold they can watch the video then what else let's see the result okay what i did uh maybe this is 200 ah this one 255 maybe yeah yeah sorry okay now you're getting the result this is the input which is a binary image and this is the output seems there is no change but there is actually so just because of the uh it's not good to show because this is a different open cv met type and over 255 everywhere you see why that's why it's not good to consider to see from the screen you will analyze this you will not see the results at the end you will see the result of this in the middle of your code in the middle of development in the middle of the process of this output uh, okay but if you really want to see the results maybe l1 is good to show you can see this is the one considering the diagonals and giving result for example uh, this is not accurate again but at least you see some changement on the image okay what else huh, yeah let's back to normal and see the overloaded type the other one of the result okay this one back to normal now let's talk about this one what is doing extra than the second one this is labeling the zeros i can say that easily i think how it's doing that uh, let's put this to the zero and let's change the distance to other one cv distance transform and this is the first one okay uh, input and destination labels and, and then distance type is let's say again distance l1 is okay mask size let's say mask plus size again how about mask plus size if i'm not wrong it's not allowed in this one let's check again okay where is that okay this one okay this mask plus size is not supported by this the second choice should be five and what else labeled oh, okay this is can stay like defaultly not important labels let's call define okay this is the first function of the overloaded distance transform destination label also we need to see labels as an output labels in the type of uh, in the type of this so we cannot see with im show we will see with the console hmm. this is the result what is the first one doing let me show you hmm. this is the result of the destination this is our zero this is one EQ, one distance far away this is one distance far away this is two distance three distance go on continue since in the image there is only one zero and the function label this as one the number one 
and all of the elements in the image belongs to the one the first object not clear okay let's define one more zero in the image at the end four to four then see the result again now two zeros what is string in here you see now this image is the closest to this one one far away two far away and this is also same now you see different in here only one in here you see two different of label one is two one is one the first one is uh, equal to the first label this zero i mean this pixel belongs to do this uh, zero why do we need this if you add one more zero you will get three labels it means one more three will be equal to will be inside this image why do we need this because zeros means that as an object for example any zero in this image meaning that you have objects inside that so you want to label them you want to label all of the pixel inside according to the zeros which pixel more closer to the other zeros you may be you, you may ask that why where do i use this okay this is a specific question because distance transform you cannot use that as a how to say as to get a exact result you use that in the middle of your codes for sub processes sub outputs you need to use this function that's why uh, you cannot directly understand okay this function for this application you cannot say that you need to uh, use it in the sub processes and output of this function you need to consider for the you, you need to consider as input to the other functions okay what else i want to say i talk much sorry for that uh, this is also not a filter please be con do, does not do not consider this as a filter this is just a transformation and basically i told what it's doing okay then enough for this video see you in the next video